Hello, this is the fourth video in a series covering live CDs. You may also have heard them referred to as rescue discs or boot discs. Live CDs are very useful to technicians when they are working on a computer that won't boot into Windows or when they're working on a computer that's so badly infected with viruses that typical antiviruses can't remove them. Live CDs are also great for data recovery, password recovery and resets, and also diagnostics. And in this video I'm going to show you a Vera rescue system and to give you an idea of how a live CD works you first download the ISO file, burn it to a disk with the disk in the CD or DVD drive, restart your computer and the computer will boot into the live CD. You can then perform tasks such as data recovery or virus scanning and I'm going to restart the operating system. When it boots into the disk, you have about 10 seconds to select your boot option, or else it will automatically select the default. And then I'm just going to let it boot into the default selection. It will begin loading all of its files and gathering information on the computer. And this is the interface here. Under the configuration tab, you can configure Vera to scan certain locations of the drive. For certain types of infections, you can configure what you want a Vera to do when it does find an infected file. Under update, it says you can update the system via the internet. And then it asks, do you want the rescue system to look for available updates? I'm going to click yes. And it's finished updating, so I'm going to go to the miscellaneous tab. Here you have the command line feature of the antivirus. And then you have the readme files, the log files network settings you can include all devices that are connected to the computer and you can also even select the font size and I'm going to go back to virus scanner and I'm going to click start scanner and right here if you notice this says Avira Linux version this is an antivirus for Linux operating systems it does work on Windows operating systems as well pretty straightforward a virus scanner with a few other features very good for finding infections that typical antiviruses don't find. I would suggest downloading and bringing the program to a disk and then playing around with it to get used to the features and capabilities. And if you're having trouble or don't know how to burn the ISO image to disk, please see my video on image burn. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.